Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Harvest Craft. Do you ever um do you ever have one of those days where you like walked like really far in the nether and then that you forgot that you did that and then you logged back on and you were in the nether and it was kind of scary <laughs> a pigman looking you right in the face or is that just me anyway the reason that i'm in the nether is because i wanted to find one of these ah, and it even comes with something else as well <laughs> now unfortunately i did have to use the um the forbidden arcane arts in order to find this <laughs> cough chunk base <laughs> chunk base oh sorry there guys i just just um clear my throat really quickly and uh, i also realized i didn't come with many blocks so i've actually been bridging with um with bone blocks uh to get here and uh, i believe that in my backpack we should have yep the silk touch pick which means we only need a few little bits from here and we are good to go first of all i have to figure out how to get down there without dying oh i suppose i could use the the fortress let's do that this is actually only uh ooh, <laughs> a terrible fortress uh, this is actually only 600 blocks straight south um from where we were where the nether portal is so it's actually not too bad i could come back here and grab things and there we are i'm a bit weary about touching this gold because there's a piglin right over there so i think i'm gonna leave that though i might take this quartz with me Ooh, goodbye right let's actually get what we came for i want a couple of these let's take a few i think i might just grab Woo! yay i'm a hot hot tourist <laughs> my feet are very hot right yes thank you very much right that is that's basically all we need really like uh, i think i probably will grab a few things just because but otherwise like we are we're golden we are good to go my friends right time to head back i kind of wish i'd brought strider chan with me um but like i did traverse this like over the ground i don't think there was like a way through um for him so never mind is it worth seeing if there are any chests in here do you know what i'd really like is a horse saddle or just like a couple of diamonds or something you know just it doesn't look like a very big nether fortress aha oh look just as just what i requested a couple of diamonds but no no saddles aha oh obsidian and some horse armor i guess we got horse armor i mean that's not too bad all right cappers this is definitely time to go home what food have i got left let's have a let's have a delicious apple yogurt <laughs> It's a bit warm, you know, from being in the nether. Mmm, a <laughs> warm yogurt. Gosh, soul sand is like an absolute pain to get across. Hooray! <laughs> I made it! Right, guys, so now we have the crimson and the warped, and I can show you why the warped is so important for this particular version of the game that I've made. <laughs> I made a ginormous G. <laughs> So the warped version of the netherrack obviously allows you to get these different types of roots. I don't think those ones do anything, uh, but these ones are going to be quite useful. You stick them in a furnace. And look at that, we've got our very first guest here. Woohoo! Also need to grow ourselves a tree. Whoopsie. <laughs> Gosh, why do these things grow so tall? Just want to grab a few of these. And then same again, you whack them in a furnace. And there we are, guys. Ender pearls. So we now have everything we need to basically complete the game. However, that is not what we are going to do today, guys. I actually did a stream at the weekend and I started working on a sneaky little project inside the hill here. If we head down, it is da, 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 a sheep farm. Unfortunately, the hill was um, was not that big. It wasn't that big, so I've started to like come out onto the other side, which means we're going to have to do a little, little bit of terraforming. But it is the beginnings of what will be a sheep farm. That sheep is red. Uh, let's see if you see how much. Oh my gosh! Really? Really? Wow, that's like from a little bit of AFKing I did just to like grow the grass over here. That is, that's insane. And there's like one pair of shears in there. I don't know if they've broken already, to be honest, like, because <laughs> it's made so much. Oh, look. Oh, that must have been because the grass regrew. Let's see. Let's see if it's still working, shall we? Eat the grass, sheepy. Eat the grass. Boom. Look at that. <laughs> I'm going to have to make a way uh, to get behind them, I think, uh, so that I can like refill... 
Unless I like make them unbreaking, I guess. <laughs> unbreaking and mending shears. <laughs> that's a bit it's a bit overkill. Um yeah, I'll probably go behind here so I can just fill it up with shears and then just I guess just let it go. Just let it let it do its thing. Uh behind here there is a hopper mine cart on a rail into a mine cart, which then goes into this chest. So it's a pretty simple system. It does, however, require quite a lot of iron, so I'm gonna need to think quite carefully about an iron farm soon. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to finish this, basically. Um, <laughs> or we're just going to have to do a lot of mining. Right, guys, I am going to gather my resources together and put away all this nether stuff, and I think we will finish this. Before we do that, though, I am starting to really run out of food. Now, I got these potatoes from our lovely village of Fernfell Hollow, and I thought I'll uh, I'll propagate them for them and, and make more potatoes, and, and then they can do the potato farming. <laughs> <laughs> but in the meantime, I would like to have fish and chips. In the meantime, let's make some fish tacos. I think you make them with a skillet. And not a juicer, we need to grind it first. Grind the corn to make the cornmeal. Then I think it's water and corn. Yields. Let's make eight tortillas. And then I believe we need the cutting board and some lettuce. Oh, and we need cheese. I know that we need salt to make cheese, but then do we make it in the pot? Yes, we do. And now, fish tacos! Yeah! Nom nom nom, heal me up. Now the other thing that I wanted to try, uh, where is it, is making the ground fish uh, because then I think, what was it, a uh, grinder, blah, <laughs> I can imagine doing that with a grinder. Then we can make the basic fish sandwich and some fish sticks as well. And I'm not sure how I feel about fish meatloaf. I think we're, um, we're gonna skip that one. <laughs> can you imagine cleaning your grinder out after you pound in a bunch of fish? The so flour and bakeware is gonna give us the fish sticks. Fish stickies. Or fish fingers, as we like to call them in the UK. I think we make mayonnaise using the juicer. I think mayonnaise in a sandwich is always top notch. As usual, my inventory is full of Pam's Harvest Craft stuff now. <laughs> right, bread, fish, mayonnaise, skillet, fish, basic fish sandwich. Does that mean we could make a. Oh, I, I don't think that Pam has updated that yet. We should be able to make a deluxe sandwich later on. I think Pam is still working very hard to get all of those mods finished. So hopefully we will see them at some point soon. And some of the potatoes have finally grown. And uh, obviously he's turned up again. <laughs> I'm going to ignore you, sir. Right, to make the fries, we're going to need some kind of cooking oil. But I can't remember how to make it recipe. Okay, so we use... Oh, basically any vegetable, like quite a lot of the vegetables. Let, let's try one, shall we? One that we probably aren't going to use very often. Winter squash, literally so useless. But not anymore! <laughs> Look at all that oil. Right, let's fry ourselves some chips. Oh, we're going to need some salt first. I'll just make the rest of this water into salt. And then we use the same cooking thing again. Right, and then we get the pot again. We put those in, we put that in, and then where did I put my flour? Because of course the flour is for the batter for the fish. Look at that! Yes! Fish and chips! Oh, it gives you so much! It gives you so much! Right, now I have to tidy this. I'm running pretty severely low of oak wood to finish off the sheep farm, so I've come to deforest <laughs> this area that's like behind my house. The house is like back that way. And uh, I've actually found a nice little sunflower farm. Oh, and uh, <laughs> and a bee's nest apparently. Hang on, let's go listen. Any bees home? Any bees? Any bees in the nest? Oh, yes, there is. There is. Oh, I've got my silk touch pick on me. Let's um, let's uh, let's, let's liberate these guys, shall we? Ooh, yay! A bee's nest. Ooh, I think two tags means there's two bees inside it. That's so cool. We can have ourselves a little apiary. Very nice. And a couple of sunflowers as well. And there we are, guys. That is pretty much almost done. I just need to, well, get the sheep in. Uh, but also I need to do the collection system. Now, I was kind of panicking a little bit because I was thinking to myself, oh, you know, I've like completely run out of iron. There wasn't any up in like my little storage barn. Forgetting, of course, 
that I already made all the components like whilst I was on stream so <laughs> we can actually make this it's pretty easy I've built a little tunnel back here so that I can do it so we are actually gonna need some chests though so what you do is you place a chest you go around the back hopper into the chest and then we need a rail there we go place the rail on top and then place the hopper minecart and and that's done and then I'm just gonna fill this in with cobble so that it doesn't like accidentally get pushed and then we just keep doing that and uh until they're all finished oh and uh i also made some of these because uh it just looks a bit nicer doesn't it right it looks like i made enough for most of them you can see some of them in there but uh i've run out i've officially now run out of iron we are ironless which actually means unfortunately i don't have enough to make any more shears <laughs> for all of these we are going to need an iron farm pretty badly uh but one thing you might be wondering to yourself is uh how, do, how am I actually going to get the sheep in here? Worry not, my friends. I have already thought of that. And um, what I have done is dug two tunnels on top of all of these. And basically where the sheep has got a stand is like underneath where this globe shroom, whatever it's called, is. Um, so basically I just break that. The hopper minecart will pick it up again and then I can just come and replace it. And I've done the same on this side as well. So we just have to bring them over and, and drop them in, I guess. I mean, I could put them in there even though the system isn't going to work and they can just kind of... I'm just gonna hang out I guess well this should be easy and smooth and not go wrong in any way shape or form right in you go my friend you are the first one worry not that I'm putting the uh, the blue sheep next to the red sheep like they will eventually be in rainbow order oh this has all gone wrong <laughs> you need to stay there no you stay there and I'm going to leave and you are not you are not going to follow me back no <laughs> in you go wow i like completely missed the first one nice <laughs> i was just up here in the mountains looking for like surface iron or iron that was like in caves and things so i could get on with work and i found this thing so if anyone doesn't know this is the waystones mod i think this is the second one i found the first one was like on my long track in the jungle and i didn't pick it up foolishly now i'm not sure if i need to use silk touch let's just be on the safe side and use silk touch because um we're taking this oh that's so cool they're so expensive to like think you need one of these to craft it and like all this stuff oh that was so great you know i was actually planning on making one of these anyway this episode so that's great we've just like found one and also like 31 piece of iron so i don't think that's enough but it's some I was wrong guys that was actually plenty enough iron so not only have i finished it i've also filled it all up with shears all my rainbow sheep look at it working away um obviously the odd ones out those of you will eagle eyes will notice here are these three now the reason these three are odd ones out is because of course i don't have any green dye i need to find a desert for that so i've actually stuck their shears inside here along with some other junk in this one apparently um so that they are ready for when i do get green that i can put them there but the rest of them are all working away i think the only one that's not quite right i think these two should be reversed but you know we sometimes we have to learn to live with mistakes now that we have wool though i can head over to fernfell hollow and actually start doing a little bit of building planning i've also cleaned out my inventory um i think i'll go and put this bee's nest away now i was gonna whack down oh look it's raining <laughs> i was gonna whack down uh this waystone oh no 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 not that anything but that <laughs> quickly right hopefully that is disaster averted we do not want any thunder or lightning i do have fire tick like turned off but you, know, you never know what it's gonna hit you know <laughs> it could hit a beautiful animal or a horse and you know, who knows what might happen so anyway what was i saying yes i was gonna whack this waystone down um around here somewhere i just keep picking up vegetables it's like i keep dropping them on the floor whenever i come around here but i've decided do you know what i've realized actually guys i've realized this place doesn't actually have a name because when you stick the waystone down you're supposed to give the place that you're in like a name or you get like a weird like automatic name but like my little farmstead doesn't actually have a name so i think we'll stick this one in fernfell hollow and just before i go actually i'll put these bees somewhere safe and we can work on a little uh little apiary next episode let's put you in here so you've got some nice fruits and things to help you pollinate right off we go here we are and it looks like clove is still here as well yay she is tamed so if i sit on her she is my llama hello hello baby 
You coming with me? I still I have a travel lead in my inventory this time so we can actually take her. So I think what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get started on just making a bunch of red boxes <laughs> around here to kind of plan out where where the town is going to go and what the different buildings are going to be. Right, so this is what we've got so far. I'll walk you through it, guys. This really big kind of box shape here is going to be the town hall where you will not be welcome, sir. <laughs> I may end up destroying a lot of things. This guy's come to inspect my work to <laughs> make sure it's all up to code, you know? Uh, these houses may have to go because I'd quite like to have in front of the town hall here, like a big marketplace and then maybe leading down to like a fishing area. Although I haven't planned that out yet because sometimes I quite like to build things and kind of see how it spreads out organically. But I have more of a plan over here for like the villager houses. So that is going to be like the stonemason because there's already a stonemason here. So oh yeah, there he is working away. Uh, sorry. <laughs> so that's going to be his house. It's going to be really big. It's going to be 15 blocks like wide and there's going to be loads of masons in it. I'm going to have a few different farmers. We need somewhere for the pumpkin farm, somewhere for like a regular wheat farm and then like the potato farmer. And then maybe there'll be one of these will just be like a little cottage. Maybe that's where the cleric lives and he's like a, the local witch. <laughs> um, and obviously the town hall is going to be where the uh, librarians are going to go. So they're all kind of going to be functional in terms of like villager trading. Also that house over there, those two villagers have grown up. So I'm going to leave them trapped in there because we are going to need to set up a villager breeding program. You know, these guys are uh, well, they, they've been together. They, they love each other, obviously. So <laughs> they can they can make us the babies. Um, now, I also came down here where the stonemason's house is and there's this whole like, I don't know, like weird underground kind of system that comes out to the lake over here. So I'm thinking maybe we could have maybe like a secret little smuggler's place that the town mayor doesn't know about, you know, and it goes all the way through here and like properly like down into a cave there. So I might not end up using all of that but there is another cave up on the hillside up there that we could end up using um, as kind of like a mine entrance for the village uh, it's like up that way past those trees we could do that oh hello oh this is the first time I've seen one of these hello oh you're so cute right guys this is not a mod this is actually a data pack but it gives you different kind of wolves in the game. I was wondering when we were gonna get ourselves a little pet, but I don't think I've got any bones on me. That's okay, I know how to get them. I know how to get them. I'm very sorry to the leather maker, but I need to use, to see if any villagers are watching, it's just that guy, I can pay him off. There we go, and the way we get bones in this version is we convert them from meat. Oh, I'm sorry, I feel bad. <laughs> I fell in the hole of punishment. Wolfie. Wolfie. Oh, there. There she is. There she is. I don't I have no idea what kind of dog we're going to end up with, guys. But. Oh my gosh. Look. It's like a ginormous Great Dane. <laughs> That's fantastic. So you can end up with anything. It's called like better dogs. It's absolutely fantastic. You can end up with any kind of dog. I mean that for a farmer, that is a pretty perfect dog. I think you can probably end up living here. Look at this huge great big dog. <laughs> I was expecting to get like a cute little corgi or something, but no, we get the big dog with the big jowls. Look at the big jowls. All right, name for the dog guys. My beautiful, I'm pretty sure that's a great Dane. I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a Great Dane. It's some kind of Great Dane. Right, we need we need two things today then, guys, in the comments. We need name a name for the farmstead and a name for my big doggy. Such a big farm dog, look at you. So big and cute. Right, let's go get Clove. Let's go get Clove and we're gonna head back home. Oh, I've now realized there's like a wild pig here I could have killed instead of that cow that obviously belonged to someone. Never mind. Right, Clove, you're coming with me. <laughs> You are mine. <laughs> she don't want to come. <laughs> she she don't want to come. It's all right. If we go far enough away, she'll forget. She'll forget about her previous owner who didn't really love her. No, Clove. Come on. Right. We're gonna have to see if this old trick works. And uh, maybe we maybe we get both of the llamas. <laughs> yep. There we go. Uh, maybe we need two boats. <laughs> that lead is a jiggling. That lead'd be a jiggling. Right. In you go. 
There you go. In the boat. In the boat. Yep, that's where you want to be. Oh, I got the lead. <laughs> right. Aha. Uh -huh. Now it looks as if Clove doesn't love you anymore. Ha ha ha. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. My poor doggle. My poor doggle. Oh no. Oh no. The llamas must have attacked you. You are a bad llama. I am not taking you anywhere. That dog is very angry with you. Oh, get it. Get it, girl. Get it. Let's get rid of this so you don't die. <laughs> oh, are you okay? Are you okay? We need to feed you some meat. No, no, no. Bad llama. Very bad llama. Wow, that was extremely traumatic. Right, ladies, we are leaving here. We are leaving here right now. <laughs> Go to this place. <laughs> there's some there's some drama that went down here. <laughs> Don't worry, my good girl. My bestest doggy. I've got some meat for you back at the farm. All right, almost home, guys, and I've just spotted this parrot. So I think we'll go for a, a three for three. Be my friend. Love me. Was those hearts? Were they, were they hearts? Do you love me now? Are you, are you my parrot? <gasps> yes! Right, home safe. There you go, Clove. You can join your brothers and sisters <laughs> who seem to be climbing all over the place. We've got our lovely farm doggy to guard you who needs a name. And of course, the lovely parrot. So let's put you on here, parrot. Actually, you can stay with the rest of the animals. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Where you going? Okay, I guess the parrot wants to sit on my shoulder. That's fine, that's fine. Right, guys, I'm afraid that is all we've got time for, but I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Harvest Craft. It has had many ups and downs. And uh, let me know if you have any ideas for names. I'm thinking our lovely doggo. Maybe Pepper? Maybe Pepper? But, you know, I'm open to ideas. So I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Yeah, that's right. <laughs>